Hi. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the different applications of blockchain. Let's start. So there are a lot of applications of blockchain. First application of blockchain is product tracking. Another application of blockchain is smart contracts. Third application of blockchain is healthcare system. Fourth application of blockchain is international wire transfer. And we are going to have a close look up at all these applications, like how blockchain is actually being used in all these different domains. So let's start with product tracking. So let's say you want to buy a coffee. Okay. So you went to the shop and you buy, bought this coffee. Now, according to this coffee, like according to the packaging of this coffee, it claims that this coffee is, uh, let's say hundred percent pure coffee. And let's say this coffee is, let's say, for example, uh, brought from Brazil. Okay. Just an example. And you trusted this coffee package, but after some time you realize that, okay, no, this is not that coffee. Uh, it is not the Brazilian coffee. Like this coffee that I have in my hand is a fake coffee means this is completely, you know, false advertising. I will say now how we can prevent from these type of situation where we are buying something and how to know whether the product that we are buying is actually a legitimate, legitimate product or not. So for that, what we can do is we can use blockchain. Now with the help of blockchain, what we can do is we can simply track this product. So this product, let's say this product has been tracked using blockchain. So this product will have a barcode. So you might have seen right barcode in various shops. Now, once you will scan this product, this product will tell you each and every Thing, this barcode actually tells you each and everything about this copy coffee where it started like uh, like you can clearly see if you can see some of the details are mentioned here like what is the name of this coffee from which country it is originated like what are the different mode of transportation like uh, was done in order to bring this coffee let's say from brazil to india or brazil to usa so each and everything will be mentioned in this you know in this application now you must be thinking like how it is different from amazon like amazon also does the same thing when we buy something we have all the details but if you will see amazon so amazon does not provide you the details of a particular product amazon only provides you the tracking id like where your product is where your product will be and all those things right so your product is already ready in the shelf and from that shelf each and every movement of that product is being tracked but what we are talking here is we are talking about complete product tracking and how it is different when it comes with blockchain because as we talked about blockchain right blockchain is a distributed immutable ledger so once a transaction is recorded on the blockchain no one can erase that transaction so in the case of product tracking once we have noted that okay this product was at this location on the blockchain no one can erase that data from the blockchain now this is the beauty of blockchain and that's how it is used in product tracking and you can also see here that each and every information about the product is being mentioned in this application. Now let's talk about another application of blockchain and that is smart contracts. Now this is one of the most beautiful, I will say applications of blockchain. So please be aware, just be alert here, I will say. So how smart contracts are being used in blockchain. So first of all, let me tell you one thing that smart contracts are simply programs that you write on blockchain. So like you have written program in C, C++, Java, Python, or if you have written in that case, so just like uh, these programs, right? We have a smart contracts, a program written on blockchain, simple as that. Okay. And if you still do not understand what are smart contracts, just don't worry. We, you will understand it after this example. So let's say, uh, let's take an example. Let's say there is a person A, he has a, he has this food delivery truck and he delivers fruits. Okay. So he's a fruit supplier. We can think of it as a fruit supplier. And he does this food delivery to this shopkeeper B. Okay. So this is our shopkeeper B who has a shop X, Y, Z. And once he received these fruits from A, B sell these fruits to his customers. Now, once the delivery is done, B pays some money to A, right? This is how a business transaction is done. But after some time, B realizes that the apples sent by A are actually rotten. So now B is in loss. He cannot use those apples to sell his customer, right? Because if he will sell these apples to his customers, then their customers will be highly disappointed in B because now the fruits are rotten, right? 
Now, what we can do in this type of situation? Now, in this type of business transaction, for example, what we can do is we can install a smart contract. Okay, we can install a smart contract. And we are assuming that the temperature to keep the fruits fresh is less than 30 degrees Celsius. So this delivery truck, you can think of this delivery truck as a refrigerated truck. Okay, this this uh, this container that you are seeing right where delivery is written it is actually a fridge okay we are just assuming that this is a refrigerated truck and the temperature in order to keep these apples fruits apple food apple fresh actually is less than 30 degrees celsius okay so this is our assumption now let's write some logic to our smart contract because okay, smart contracts are nothing but programs right so we will draw a flow chart here that if iot detected a temperature greater than 30 degrees celsius now what is this iot iot is for now you can think of as temperature detecting device so they detect the temperature so we are assuming that this iot is installed to that container of the truck and if iot is detecting a temperature of uh, degree less greater than 30 degrees celsius and this is not good for our foods right now if this happens in that case we will definitely cancel the delivery and we will not pay to a right b will not pay to a in this scenario and this is good if this is false if this condition is false in that case delivery will be done and b will b have to pay to a means we cannot then deny that i can i will not pay to a because now i have received the fruits and i do not want to pay to a this is not how this will be done when it will come to smart contracts so this is how the logic of our smart contracts will work and i think this is a very good logic also now some of you some of you might be thinking that how it is different from any other program because you know we write programs in c c plus plus java how it is different from any other program what is so special about smart contracts the special thing about smart contracts is that smart contracts are actually immutable in nature just like blockchain you cannot erase the data from blockchain right so this is smart contract will be deployed to the blockchain and you cannot change anything from the smart contract once it is deployed to the blockchain now this is one of the beauty of smart contract it means once this logic is written no one can erase this logic first thing second thing with the smart contract is that you do not require any human intervention means when i'm saying that the, if the temperature is directed is greater than 30 degrees celsius the if this condition is let's say false then we are transferring money to a right so in this case money will be actually cryptocurrency so these cryptocurrencies will be transferred from smart contract balance to a's account now there is something very i think a uh, little bit complicated to explain currently because currently we are just progressing towards our blockchain codes for now just assume that smart contract is acting as a bank where some cryptocurrency is deposited if this condition will be false in that case cryptocurrencies from a smart contract account will be deducted and will be transferred to a and who has transferred this cryptocurrencies to smart contract account and that is, that is actually being done by b okay and we will see this in more detail in our smart contract module but for now i think this makes sense to you also right so this is also one of the applications of blockchain now let's see the third application of blockchain that is an international wire transfer so let's say you want to send some money to one of your friend okay so you went to your bank sender bank and you want to transfer some money to your friend but in order to transfer this money to your friend which let's say lives in usa let's say you are living in india and you want to transfer this money to usa this transfer of money cannot be directly done to usa it means if this is a bank of india you cannot transfer this money directly to usa so let's say if this is our bank in usa this is our receiver bank because your friend is in usa you cannot transfer this money directly to this bank there will be so many banks in the middle of this change between the sender bank and between the receiver bank now the problem with this approach is you have to pay a huge amount of commission to these banks in order to do a international transaction so let's say and this international transaction uh, fees can be around 10 to 25 percent just it can be 10 to 25 percent so let's say if you are sending one thousand dollars to your friend for example one thousand dollar to your friend in that case if the uh, percentage is let's say 10 percent then hundred dollars will be deducted and your friend will only receive nine hundred dollars 
and the reason is because there are so many banks involved here so they charge some commission now this is a very heavy commission right now if you are going to use blockchain in this case yeah and one more thing yes one more thing that this process can be a slow process it can take two or three days definitely it can be less than that but it can take up to seven days also seven to ten days also because let's say there are banks that are involved within these two banks they are slow they are working very slowly in that case definitely your transaction will take a huge amount of time and then your friend let's say might receive the money after 10 days of the transactions now this is a very slow process right so what you can do is instead of this instead of going like this what you can do is you can do transaction on blockchain now transactions on blockchain are uh, very fast it to took around let's say you are doing some international transaction it will take around some minutes and your transaction will be done and top of that that transaction fees will be very less so that's also one of the beauty of blockchain so we have cryptocurrencies which we will discuss in much more detail in our cryptocurrency module so cryptocurrencies these cryptocurrencies you can transfer from one place to another in so much time like in less time and in so much less amount of transaction fees now let us look at fourth application of blockchain that is in healthcare system so normally uh let's say if there are two hospitals in city a and city b okay and let's say uh, you are born in city a so all of your medical history is actually stored in the database of city a right so since you are born in city a so all your medical history documents each and everything is actually stored in the database of your city a hospital right it can happen now the problem in this approach is that let's say you went to city b for some work okay and you met with an accident now in that case what will happen in that case city b does not have your medical history now, in order to fetch your medical history, they need to call your parents or let's say they have to talk to different hospitals because they do not know you might definitely they will not call to hospitals until they will call to your family, right? So your family will then go to the hospital of city A and then they will fetch your records, medical history and then they will provide to city B, right? Because you can have different type of diseases. Let's say you might have some sugar or some diabetes or let's say you have some like, you know, life threatening type of disease. Now, in that case, city B needs to check your medical history before, before doing any type of procedure or it might be too late for you to survive from that accident, right? So, this is a problematic thing, right? So, with the help of blockchain, what we can do is we can share this data. Definitely, do not think that blockchain is a centralized database here. This is just for representation. What you can do is you can share your information, your medical history on the blockchain and you can provide access to anyone who wants to have a look on that data so let's say you have a key and you have locked that key on the blockchain and the beauty of blockchain is that once your data is there it is there so it will not be erased or manipulated it will always be there and let's say in the case of crisis you can transfer your keys to uh, let's say in this case city b and city b then can go and unlock your medical history documents and can see your data and can provide you a good uh, i will say good treatment right so that you can recover fast so this is also one of the applications of blockchain and this is also getting so much i will say popular and i think in near future we are going to see this a lot okay so we discussed four applications of blockchain right in the international wire system healthcare system smart contracts and product tracking right but definitely there are various other applications of blockchain and now this is your homework okay you have to comment below and you have to tell me what are other applications of blockchain okay you have to tell me like what other places blockchain can be used and let's other also know that what are the other applications of blockchain and i will be waiting for your homework so please do not forget to do that okay so I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like this video. <laughs> Means if you are definitely you like this video, do hit on that like button. If you please subscribe to this uh, this channel, Coreda channel, so that uh, I can provide you courses like this on a regular basis. I actually upload videos on regular basis. So please do subscribe. Do considering subscribe. And then if you want to talk to me directly about blockchain, 
you can directly contact me at coreta21 instagram id you can directly go there or else if you want to join our discord community where 2000 plus blockchain developers are already present you can join the discord community link is given in the description you can directly solve your doubts ask your doubts over the blockchain developer community so i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video bye bye